Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to be working on my 2015 Toyota Corolla. Just checking the spark plugs. I looked at the owner's manual and basically owner's manual doesn't say anything about spark plugs. You know, I checked all the way up to like 100,000 and that's basically where the manual kind of stops at 100, 120,000 miles. I have 120,000, I figured I better check the plugs. Typically plugs are good for about 30 to 40,000 miles. So, you know, all you really have to do is just snap this cover off and the cover basically just kind of keeps the sound engine sounds from coming up through the hood or going into the interior compartment of the passenger area. That's all it does. And one of the main reasons is it has like a variable ball of timing on this thing and it has a direct injection. So you hear a lot of that's clicking you hear from a diesel engine, just typically associated with a direct fuel injected engine. So that's what this particular one is. Anyway, so pull the cover off, you know, and then all of a sudden the engine doesn't look as pretty as it does the other way. So all you gotta go go in there. These are spark plugs, one, two, three, four. Simple, just take, press on this tab right here in the back. And when you press on it, pull off the spark plug itself. So once you put, pull off the coil, I'm sure to say, instead of spark plug. So you pull the cap, uh, sorry, the wire connector from the spark plug in the coil unit here. And this is basically a coil. Each spark plug has an individual coil. In the old system, if you worked on the car, there's a rotor. Uh, cap involved in there, sometimes points, spark plug wires. So this is a very simplified process, right? This is just comes with an individual coil, and if there's something wrong with the coil, the sensor will give you a reading that you need to replace it. So all you have to do is get a 10 millimeter wrench, take this bolt out right here on the top, and jiggle the coil out. It will come right off. You know, it's going to be easier if you take this cover off. I just didn't want to go through the trouble. So I do have a socket that rotates, you know, universal joint, which is easier for me to get into tight spots. So once you put the plugs out, uh, sorry, once you put the coil out, you're going to have to go in there. The only problem with this spark plug is, I don't know if you can see it on there, it's not a typical spark plug. So I had to use a 14 millimeter wrench in order to get the spark plug out. Typically, they're just two standard size, size spark plugs that you deal with. But this particular one is kind of strange. It must be a Toyota thing, right? I had to buy a special oil filter unit in order to change the oil in the filter on this car so they're probably trying to you know maybe buy another special tool for the spark plugs but if you just use a 14 millimeter it should work fine so i'm looking at this thing right so the spark plug if you look at it really closely it's a platinum spark plug uh looks like from denso sorry uh, it's from denso i can read better without the camera here so uh in looking at the points here right they're still almost like brand new i don't know how good it's going to come through on this picture here the platinum so they're pretty good I mean I'm not going to change it if they're a good spark plug so putting it in to the spark plug socket now that's a problem so I'm going to have to so I have one of these units you know where you press on it and release it's a little clip so you hook up a spark plug and I'm going to drop the spark plug gently in the hole try to get a rotation in maybe one or twice if I can if not I'm just going to leave it down there the reason you don't want to just drop it with your hand from the top is you're going to bend the electrodes on the top where the spark takes place and you might not have the right amount of gap. So once it's dropped in there, as I said, you have a universal joint. If not, be prepared to, this is just a plastic tab, but you're going to have to go around and pull this cover off in order to get to it. So just all you got to do is go back in there and I'll be right back. So you're supposed to torque the spark plug. I'm going old school, hand tighten it wherever, you know, just keep going, keep going until you feel a pressure on it. Eventually you'll get there, so I'm feeling a little pressure on it. As soon as I get a gentle pressure, I just go that and I do another uh, half a turn. Cause it doesn't seem like there's enough pressure on a quarter. So about, uh, I would say somewhere between half and a quarter, uh, sorry, quarter and a half turn is where you tighten. And that should do it. You can torque it, you know, just look up the specification, use a torque wrench, you can do that. I just take a shortcut and do this. And, the, you know, putting back together reverse process, just take the coil adapter, uh, just jiggle it in there, and you'll see, as you can see, take a 10 millimeter bolt you know, that came with it, of course. Just tighten that down, so, you know, you're going to need a 10 millimeter wrench for this thing. Take a couple of seconds here. Oh, maybe about 5 to 10 seconds here. So, once you have that button down, this hand tightens fine. As I said, there's a talk specifications you can do that, but I just do hand tight. So that takes care of that. And don't forget to plug in your coil wire. 
and that's basically it. You just, you know, that's how simple it is to replace this rock plug. As I said, you're gonna have to buy a 14 millimeter wrench to work this. So I'm just gonna put the cover in the cover. You can see the scrolling pegs right here. There's four of them, right? And they're gonna hook up against this tabs right there. So that's all you have to do. Just kind of align the tab on this thing. And the easiest way to do this is there's a oil filler hole and there's a little oil, oil filler cap. Just align those two and all you have to do is press it in and jiggle it. Make sure it's in the pack where it's supposed to be and you're done. That's all there is to change the spark plug. You can save yourself like five, six hundred bucks, you know, depending on who you go to. You can do this at home. Just buy like one of the auto park shops. You can probably pick up the plugs for about 30 bucks.